Kathy Thomas and I'm in Orange at the satellite location of Laguna Culinary Arts. And with me is Octavio Montoya. And Octavio is the executive chef and instructor. And he's been invited to take the Complete This Dish Challenge. And he's come up with a great side dish to pair with a recipe that ran in the Orange County Register. And it's a recipe for slow oven braised short ribs. And this is a great rice dish. Turning on the uh, stove, and we put it on medium high. Right. We're gonna add the butter. Right. Which we have already measured. So as soon as the butter is uh, melted, then we're gonna start cooking the onions. And you, what is this about a half of a large onion? This is about a half of a medium-sized onion. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, and it's finely diced. So as soon as this is melted, you add the. Uh, we add the onions, and we're just gonna cook them into translucent. Right. So we put all the onions in, and then we move the onions so that they get coated with all the butter, all right. and so they start cooking. And as you can see, the onions are looking pretty much translucent. So we're going to start adding the rice now. Okay. And it goes. And it goes in. So it's a couple of cups, a couple of cups of rice. And look at how much the butter was oh, absorbed yeah. Yeah. So you've just coated by the all rice. those little rice kernels and they're ready to go. Yes, we're going to cook them a little bit and then we're going to leave it alone just for a minute so that it creates some caramelization on the bottom of the pan and it adds flavor to the rice with the onions and it makes it nice and sweet. And now we're going to add the half a cup, I mean the cup of white wine, and you can use any of your favorite white wine. Right. Are you using a dry white wine today? We're, we're, use, we're using a, a chablis mm -hmm. white wine. It is dry. We just want to cook it until the wine gets absorbed by the rice. But don't forget to add a little bit of salt to the rice so it opens up and it takes all the flavor from the wine and some fresh ground pepper. That to be pretty dry. You really want see that how, wine see how to dry, See how dry it is? See when you yeah. run it across, dry. it's dry. Okay. So again, once again, the caramelization is happening again and it's creating the sweet flavor that we're yeah. always looking yeah. for on the meals. Yeah. Yeah. So we have the chicken stock right now. And this is about four cups of chicken stock. Now this is going to come up to a boil really quickly because it's a really hot pan right now. Right. Plus the rice is So we want really it to hot. come up to a boil and then we want to put the lid on and turn it down. Yes, very low heat and then it'll cook for about 45 minutes. It'll kind of puff, it'll look creamy. It's almost like the best thing after risotto. So we have a rice that has been cooked already. And while it remains hot, we're gonna keep it closed so that Stays nice and warm. Right. Well, we saute our mushrooms and mix, mix it with the kale. So we have the butter, and it's uh, nice and beautiful sizzling right now. Right. Now we need to add some olive oil. And it's a great mixture when you add some olive oil to the butter, because now you have the sweetness of the butter, and then you have the flavor of the olive oil. Mm -hmm. And then it gives you the moisture that you need now we're gonna start cooking our shallots, mm -hmm. finely diced shallots. So our shallots are nicely translucent now. They cook very fast because they're small. Right. And now we're gonna add our sliced cremini mushrooms. Cremini mushrooms. You should love cremini mushrooms. They're they're delicious. So we're cooking our uh, mushrooms. And some of the moisture is going to come out right now when we add a little bit of salt. And the salt is going to 
to subtract the moisture on them. Right. So it get, it's going to get a little juicy. It's starting to look very nice. And all the butter that was there mixed with the oil was absorbed by the mm -hmm. mushrooms. It looks like our mushrooms are ready. See how beautiful they look? So now we're going to add our kale. We're going to put all our kale in. And you've got a, what looks like a very generous amount of kale. It's exactly two bunches of the kale. Right. So now we season it with salt and pepper. Oops. And what we're doing right now is coating it with the juices from the mushroom and the butter that's coming out of the mushrooms and the oil. And then we're gonna add the rice. See how beautiful the rice turned out? Oh, it's just perfect. Looks nice and creamy and puffy. And when you taste it, And so what we're going to do now is we are going to quickly mix it. And I can just imagine what it would taste like with those ribs. Well, you want people to lick their fingers? Yeah. Go. Well, I think with those short ribs, this rice, and a nice bottle of wine, you and will... You're set. Yes. You will look like uh, the best mom or yes. family member. Friends. You know what I'm doing here. I'm, I can't wait. I've got to have a little bite. May I? You're going to really like it. Thank you. Oh, it, it's so good. And it, and it has such a nice, deep flavor. It does. And it just tastes perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome.